Yeah, running it down on these niggas. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder, my nigga. You know how we did it, my nigga. Still be painting them bitches, my nigga. Ripping that roll over, fucking your bitches. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. 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 Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, uh-huh. money, and murder. Uh-huh. I was had the traps right. On the sand, had to get that. Uh-huh. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. Knew I never seen none of nigga live like that. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. Niggas. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Lord Scotty. You know, before we start this video, all I want y'all to do is smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Just smash the like button. It's your boy Bullets Gotti. It's the Bullets Gotti Show. Salute. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bullets Gotti. Before I start this video, I would like to give a, a R.I.P. to the young boy that the 13 year old that was missing in Harlem that lost his life. A lot of y'all dudes on YouTube is not really talking about that. I wonder why. But um, my condolences go out to the the two young men. Um, because we don't know what happened to the other one. And it's sad. You know, the 11-year-old, he's still missing. But the 13-year-old was found, you know, and it's in, 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 in East River, actually. Um, sad to hear that, you know. Um, like I said, my condolences go out to his family. But this video right here is about... Gabrielle Union and Megan Good got black women vexed. So, as you can notice, black women has been upset about the 50-50 comment that Megan Good made. Oh, I'm not Megan Good. Gabrielle Union. I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> the 50-50 comment that Gabrielle Union made and basically her talking about her and Dwayne Wade going 50-50 and black woman is triggered about Jonathan Majors and Megan Good dating. In my opinion, right, a lot of you women that are upset at Jonathan Majors and Megan Good and upset about Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade 50 50 relationship is that you women are not happy. Okay, Gabrielle Union was being realistic. And a lot of women, a lot of black women online, and even black men that I'm hearing online is not being realistic. We have to understand a marriage is a business. That's your partner. So if you're in a, a business with your partner, it's not going to be 120. It's not going to be um, 70, 30. It's going to be 50, 50. And... A lot of people don't understand that it's a 50-50 partnership. It's a 50-50 split. And people got to understand that when you're married to somebody, there's going to be a 50-50 um, time in a relationship where things have to be 50-50. Okay? You have to have a 50-50 agreement because it's a business. You're, you're both business partners. You both sign a contract, which is marriage. Okay, a marriage is not 120. A lot of women want it to be 120 because a lot of women are lazy. They are gold diggers. And they have a mindset of not bringing nothing to the table. And being selfish with their money. And you in a realistic relationship, you can't be selfish. The realistic... Oh, my God. So, when you got a lot of these women that are triggered in the black community... About the relationship of Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade or upset about that Jonathan Majors is with Megan Good. Jonathan Majors found somebody that want him for him. And what people don't understand is you hating on the brother because he was dating outside his race. Now he gets with a black woman. You start saying, oh, she's the clean up woman and she's there to clean up his image. And like, 
It's a lot of miserable women online. A lot of miserable women online. And a lot of these miserable women have miserable ideologies that they put on younger women. Instead of these women, hey, you know what? He found somebody. That's cool. He's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What people eat don't make you shit. But when you have people that's haters, women that's haters, men that are haters, when you got men talking about, well, you a man and you should you shouldn't go no 50-50. You should take care of everything. Nigga, be realistic. Okay, we in a we in a, a capitalistic society where everything revolves around money. Everything revolves around paying bills. We not in a society where nothing is about money. So we in a society where women make more than men. We in a society where men that do make more than women. So if you upset like, I remember Denzel Washington and his wife did an interview. And he said that his first date with his wife, his wife covered the bill. And I said, yo, that's dope that the first date, his woman covered the bill. The bill. Like, how many women could say on the first date that they covered the bill for their men? You understand what I'm saying? But that's a real relationship that's based off of real realistic views and that's why when you're a realistic relationship you will last forever but when you're a relationship that was built off of a fairy tale a, 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 a story and just a bunch of bullshit and it was just about this of course you're gonna deal with a trick ass nigga that want a gold that got a gold digging ass bitch that's in his pocket but when you with a woman that's financially right you financially right you're going to have different type of views. And the views is going to be different. But because you got women out here that are so effed up in the game mentally that they will basically brainwash younger women to believe in this this ideology of thinking that, okay, um, I want a man to trick on me and I don't have to spend bills. All I got to do is prop myself up, look cute, look pretty. And that's it. That's the most stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. That woman said that I just want to look beautiful and look pretty. And my pussy and me having kids is the reason for you to go 100, 100 with me. What? Beauty fades. The pussy sometimes fades. All of that fades. Women have mindsets that they are, they want to be like prostitutes. They don't want to be wives because of a realistic woman is going to understand that we're in a reality. We're not trying to keep up with the Joneses. We're realistic. And that's the problem. But hey, it is what it is. Shout out to Cabio Union for speaking her truth. I don't agree with everything, but she spoke her truth. And for the woman that's hating on Jonathan Majors and, and Megan Good dating is crazy. And for the black woman that's hating on Gabrielle Union for saying she 50-50 with her man, y'all women just look crazy. But we under, it understands when you have women that are not like you women, that weren't raised with any type of values or structures or wasn't raised with good men in your lives, of course you're going to have a problem with other women that's happy and other women that are independent because you women are not. But it is what it is. This video, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Make sure we get into the algorithm. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this this video. And hit the notification bell. It's your boy, Bullis Gotti. Bullis Gotti Show. Too clean.